Hi guys and welcome back to Mel's Kitchen. In today's cooking video, I am going to show you one of the most anticipated and requested video that so much persons have been asking me both on my Instagram and on YouTube to do for you guys. And today I'll be showing you how to make Jamaican festival. If you guys know anything about Jamaica, if you go to Jamaica, you must have must have festivals which is one of our most famous thing to eat especially with fish apart from our rice and peas and our oxtail and jerk chicken festival is on the top of the list it's a must have so today i'll be showing you real quick how to make jamaican festival so let's just get straight into it here are the ingredients that you're going to need to make jamaican festival here we go so many ways in which jamaicans make festival people achieve festival through different methods and this is just my way of how i make festival so i'm just going to show you how I achieve that so first all you're gonna need is some butter sugar salt some oil baking powder which is one of the most important ingredient flour cornmeal and milk some people use water but in my festival I do not use water I use straight milk so what we're going to do we're just going to go ahead and blend all of these ingredients together with a nice simple technique except for the oil which we're going to use to fry our festival so we're just going to get that out the way and i'm going to show you the quick and easy method that i use to create the dough to make the festival okay you guys so we're just gonna just jump straight into making the dough because we're just gonna make the dough and let it sit for a period of time for a few minutes before we go into frying our festivals. So first you're just going to get your flour into the pan. Then what I'm going to do is add my cornmeal. Then I'm just going to add all the dry ingredients. Add in the sugar. Then I'm going to add my salt. I'm going to add my baking powder. And then I'm going to add my butter. I'm just going to drop that in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. But what I'm going to, I'm not going to knead it. I'm just going to try and get everything together. Just like you're making a short crust pastry. Because you don't want your festival to become tough. And you don't want it to have a gummy kind of texture so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use my fingertips to separate the butter and mix all these ingredients up nicely because the texture of your festival is supposed to be soft and a little crunchy not flaky but crunchy so you you need to be careful when you're making this and then you don't want to mix this too much either so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my milk instead of water and i'm just going to mix this into a dough really quick and you don't want to play with your ingredients too much And you need to take time when you're adding your milk or your liquid if you decide to use water instead of milk. You need to add it little by little. You need to add it gradually because you don't want to spoil your dough. You don't want your dough to spoil and you don't want to over mix it. So you need to be very gentle with your dough and you just need to get all of your ingredients together see i don't need to add any more liquid to that 
and if you realize my pan is basically clean there's no more flour within my pan that's the aim that you're going for you just let everything come together and so what I'm just going to do I'm just going to cover this and let it rest for a few minutes before we start frying you can cover it with just about anything what I'm just going to do I'm just going to put a plate over it and let it sit there for a few minutes and then we'll just come right back to it while your dough is sitting and resting a little bit you can go ahead and preheat your pan so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and preheat my pan here i also have a plate that i place some paper towel in that way when my festival is finished frying i can just transfer them onto this plate here just to drain so our pot is preheated and what i'm going to do i'm going to throw all my oil right in there what you do not want to do when you're frying festival is that you do not want your heat on high so as your oil is heated what you need to do is reduce your flame to low because the cornmeal and the milk and the sugar will caramelize very 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 fast and you do not want your festival to be too brown it should have a moderate golden color so what you want to do as soon as your oil is heated is reduce your flame to low our oil is ready so what i'm going to do i'm just going to flow my hand and what you want to do when you're making festival is that you do not want to make your festivals big so this is the size that I'm going to use for each festival and the technique is that I'm just going to make it a little bit round make it a little bit round like this and then I'm going to make it long so what you want to do is you make it long and then I'm just going to make an insert in the middle of that so this is how your festival should look and we're just gonna drop this into the oil and you want to pay very close attention to your festivals so I'm not gonna waste any time I'm just going to make them real fast and drop them in there because you don't want some to fry and some some not so you just need to make a set drop them in real quick And just let them slowly fry until each side is golden brown you just turn them on each side and make them really nice and golden brown and at the same time you do not want your flame to be too extra low because you do not want your festival to soak up too much oil and that's what you really don't want when your festival soak up too much oil they won't taste nice at all all you'll be eating is oil so we're just going to make this fry and like i said there's no really time it depends on the size so what you want to do is just make those slowly fry on each side and golden brown and then you turn on each side and just make sure that they fry and they're really pretty you can even make them and put down if you want and then as you go along you just put them in the oil but I like to make mine right at hand and just drop them in you don't want them to fry too fast because you don't want the outside of your festival to be cooked and the inside is raw and still flour raw wet flour you don't really want that so you need to pay very very close attention when you are frying festival you need to stand there at the stove and ensure that your festivals are frying properly because you don't want to make a mess they're very very delicate but trust me at the end when you finish they will be so yummy 
<laughs> and you'll want to make them again and you guys don't forget to try these and tell me how did they turn out for you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys and if there's any Jamaican dishes that you guys wish for me to show you guys how to prepare feel free to comment down below and let me know I'll be happy to show you guys how to make these yummy Jamaican dishes and you just keep turning your festival and do not let them burn just keep turning your festival until you reach the desired look then you just take them out and put them right onto your paper to drain and another way that you can know that your festival is ready is that they're going to become super light lighter than you put them in they're gonna become light so that should tell you that your festival is ready that's another way that you can know that your festival is ready this is the kind of color that you're going for with your festival you do not really want them darker than this and you lighter than this is fine once it's it's cooked but you do not really want your festivals to be darker than that Okay, you guys, we're all done, and this is our final look. Okay, you guys, so there you have it a real quick and easy way to make your Jamaican festival. You can have this whether for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whichever time of the day you feel for festival. You can make festival whichever time of the day. If you have any comments or any suggestions or any questions feel free to comment down below and tell me what you guys think tell me if you guys try it don't be afraid to go ahead and try any of my jamaican dishes that i've showed you guys and if it's your first time watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn the bell on so you guys can know whenever I upload video whether it is my family vlogs on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays my hair videos on Thursdays and my cooking videos on Tuesdays don't forget to catch up and keep up with us hopefully you guys will enjoy this yummy festival and don't forget to subscribe you guys and I appreciate every single one of you guys for always watching for always coming back for always tuning in and I'll see you guys in my next Mel's Kitchen. Bye, guys.